to think systemically. We have to imagine a different social system, a different social equilibrium. It's not going to be achieved by reform in any particular area, but reform of the whole system. What kind of world do you want to live in? And what kind of world do you want to leave behind for the next generation? We cannot leave it to the government, we cannot leave it to the private sectors to build this kind of vision. And we all need to contribute to make this vision of the world to become reality. We need to give not only young women, young people, not only a seat at the table, but also a voice at the table. We're seeing a time when we have more and more people protesting in the streets. I think that activists need to start focusing around questions of how do we attain sovereignty? And that means how do we gain control over the decision-making process in our communities? Aujourd'hui, il faut trouver des solutions multipartites qui permettent de créer dans les sociétés, et c'est le rôle notamment du journalisme, du journalisme de qualité, des tiers de confiance, des sociétés, de la vie politique, de la vie économique. Fake news is not going anywhere. The money and political incentives are far too great. We need to equip the general citizenry to read and watch content with a critical eye. Everybody needs to understand that they are culpable for the digital monopolies that we are creating and therefore take some control. Use your data responsibly, care about your privacy, think about the things that you click because you are feeding the machines. Gender bias and other forms of bias have already crept into artificial intelligence. And I think people often think, well, we just need to improve the AI. But actually, we need to apply human judgments to it as well technology and digitalization, it's some, not something on the fringes of policies or regulatory discussions. It goes to the core of those discussions and I think we need much more international collaboration. We need much more collaboration also with the private sector. The two biggest challenges in the housing market today for renters um, is actually a double whammy of affordability and insecurity. People now recognize that uh, a basic right, uh, which is the right to shelter, is at risk, is jeopardizing uh, their quality of life, their quality of family life, and so people are now speaking about it. And most importantly, they're demanding from their politicians action on this issue. Any reform that does not generate people's engagement will make little difference. And any policy that does not connect with people's dreams will never get the necessary traction to succeed. It is time for evidence-based emotional policies. It is time to connect algorithms with human values, economists with psychologists, bankers with philosophers, energy ministers with children. Right now, there is just a revolution going on. There are so many young people. I mean, this never happened before. And that is the whole strength of this thing, that all these people coming on the streets every week, they do it because they believe in it, because they believe in their future, and they are ready to fight for it.